Welcome back to John Cleese Car Audio. My name's Max, this is Mark, who also works in the shop here, alongside myself and Connor. And we today are showing you the Kenwood 8021 installed into a Seat Alhambra. We've kept the steering wheel controls working on this vehicle. We've added DAB, as there was no DAB from factory, through this antenna which we've stuck onto the window. And we've installed the head unit into this nice flush fit fascia. Now, I think I was going to show you something on this stereo before I turned it on. What we get when switching on the ignition in this Alhambra, created by yours truly, we have this Seat logo. Just a nice little touch, ties in with the car. The Kenwood, you can adjust the colour to match other buttons in the car. So naturally we've gone for red. Alright, so this is your DAB, which is what it's just jumped into. A quick look around the main screen of the head unit. This is your home screen, different apps. You've got digital radio, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. This unit does Apple CarPlay and Android Auto wirelessly, which is one of the most popular reasons we're doing it. Other sources include adding HDMI as well, so you can add things like a Fire Stick to it, and you can connect all normal USB. You've got FM radio as well, but probably not going to be using that much anymore right let's hook up a phone to it and let's just show you guys how easy it is click on the telephone here mark has his phone ready he's now going to search for a kenwood unit which is a dmx 8021 dabs he's going to press pair oh he's going to press yes on the screen as well we're going to get yes on the screen and there's probably going to be one final thing to accept on the phone. This process is purely just for your first connection to the phone. Once you've connected it once, it'll automatically hook up as you get in and out of the car. So we're now in Apple CarPlay. As you can see, all working wirelessly, no cables. Now, why would you want Apple CarPlay? Many people get it for maps, music, messaging, a much nicer way of using your telephone while driving. You can even get internet radio apps for DAB if you live in an area where DAB is a little bit dodgy, which there's a lot of areas out there like that, then you can use internet radio and you can get apps such as Radio Player, which cover all of the radio stations that are on DAB, excluding BBC radio stations, which are on BBC Sounds. So Apple CarPlay looks a bit like this, real nice uh, capacity display on this unit. Clicking onto your phone, you'll have all your normal recents, favorites, contacts, keypad, check your voicemail, maps, Apple Maps this one is, you've got Google Maps, Waze, TomTom Tom navigation if you want to pay for it, quick and easy to navigate to places, obviously a frequent destination for Mark is Waitrose after work, <laughs> so real nice and easy to um, enter the navigation, you can just type in names of places, not just stuck with door, uh, postcodes and door numbers. Messages, don't worry, we're not going to be reading Mark's messages off the screen. Um, this will show you who's recently messaged you. And if it was a new message, it will have a blue notification dot next to it. And then you can click on it and it will read it out to you while driving. Same idea, when you're driving, a banner will pop up, click on it, and you can talk back your response. Um, other reasons you'd go for CarPlay, so you've got the music, obviously multiple apps available on Apple CarPlay, like Spotify, Amazon Music. Obviously you've got Apple Music. Tidal is our preferred uh, choice of music platform here at John Cleese. It does have one of the best qualities. Um, on your music app, you've got all your normal home, recents, explore, your collection. We always recommend you to have a playlist that you can just run through while you're driving and you can scroll through something like that. Wouldn't mind a bit of Led Zeppelin. Audio quality is good on these head units. It's got a 55 watt times four power amplifier, and you can connect these head units up to amplifiers, new speakers, things like that. All right, that is everything for this brief video from John Cleese. Thanks for watching. Any questions, hit us up uh, on in the description below or head over to our website to get our contact information. Thanks for watching again. Take care and goodbye.